Hi, I'm Craig Henderson, and today I'm going to be discussing the new Apex Rentals Mobile Extraction Laboratory. This is designed to come out to your facility, whether you're a grower, a processor, or a wholesale manufacturer who might just need some help catching up on processing. We ask that you have about a 100 amp breaker, single phase 220 electricity at your facility, so that way we can tap right into your building when we drop off the trailer. Let's take a look over here, see what we have inside. In here, we have our Apex Supercritical 2000 PSI 5 liter diaphragm pumping system. This is Apex's most reliable system on the market today. Come on in. Right here is the 5 liter extraction vessel. This will hold 3 to 4 pounds of ground, ground up dried plant material. This system works the same way as all the other Apex systems. You will hit start, you'll enter time, temperature, and pressure. It'll ask you to check a few things, then off it goes. In the other room back here, we have our diaphragm pump and our chiller. Let's go back there and take a look at that real quick. In here, we have our diaphragm pump. As mentioned, this is the most reliable pump on the market today for CO2 extraction systems. Over here is our chiller. This is what controls temperatures throughout all the vessels in the system, and it also keeps our pump cool. Then we have our then we have our AC, which is used to keep this room at the correct temperature. Let's go back around and take a look at the system. This system will process at a rate of two to three hours per pound of material. So if we load three pounds of material in here, it'll take approximately six to nine hours to process that material, with a resulting yield between 10 and 14%. Let's go through a startup on the machine. I'll show you how it works. First of all, you'll come over here. You load your three to four pounds of plant material inside of here. You just hand tighten, hand loosen. So we send a funnel. You load your ground up dried plant material in here. You close it. Once you get your plant material in there that's secure, you come over here. All you got to do is hit start and it walks you through everything. So we'll hit start. First thing it asks us is to enter a target pressure, target extraction pressure. So I'm going to enter 1500 PSI, acknowledge, press here when correct. Then it asks us to enter runtime. As I mentioned, two to three hours per pound of material. So if we had three pounds of material in here, we would put six to nine hours in here. And acknowledge. Now it's asking us to check our chiller set point, press here when correct. We're going to step aside to the other room, turn our chiller on, and pick a temperature. So in here is where we're going to set our chiller. We have it in Fahrenheit. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to pick a temperature. 96 degrees Fahrenheit is a great temperature for 1500 PSI. We're going to set that. Let's go back in there. We set our temperature on the chiller. Now we're going to acknowledge. So we entered pressure. We entered time. We just entered temperature. Now it's going to remind us to check a few things. It's saying verify your separator vessels are secure. We're going to check the four clamps that are on our separator vessels. Those all look tight, so we're good. Acknowledge. It asks us to verify that our extractor vessel is secure. So we're going to come over here, make sure it's hand tight. Check the bottom, make sure it's hand tight. Come back over here, acknowledge. Asks us to close valve 10. So we'll come down here, we'll close valve 10. It's closed. At the end of the run, it'll ask us to open valve 10. So for now, let's keep it closed. We acknowledge. Then it tells us to open our CO2 bottles. So our CO2 bottles, our CO2 bottles are mounted over here. So we're gonna open them both up. This is instrument grade CO2 or medical grade CO2. Works really well for performing extractions. And we know that the bottles are cleaned every time. That's why we're using instrument grade or medical grade CO2. Come back over here. Now when I acknowledge that the CO2 bottles are open, the system is gonna take off and do its run. As you can see, the system is filling. Once we reach our set point up here at 1500 PSI, the system will go into run mode. The system will continue to run for whatever set time we put in here. So the system will run for nine hours, then, the system will go into recovery. It should take about 30 minutes to pump the CO2 
back into the CO2 bottles. Then we will open valve 10, vent out the remaining CO2, and collect our oil. So now I have the system running, I'll be back in a few hours to check on it and collect the oil. If you're interested in finding out more about Apex Rentals or where a trailer is near you, please contact myself, Craig Anderson. You can reach me at craigh at apexsupercritical.com. I look forward to hearing from you.